Hi. So continuing my exploration of the US Surgeon General framework for mental health and well-being in the workplace. And this week I wanted to explore what they term the essential. And you can see five essentials here. And this week to explore the essential of work, life, harmony. Now this is one very close to my heart, not because I don't have work-life harmony, but I see so many employees denied work-life harmony because they don't have those two things linked to this essential. Underpinning this essential are two things, autonomy and flexibility. Flexibility means that an employee can work where they want, when they want, how they want. But they have to be given the autonomy to do so. And what's happening right now with organisations demanding return to the office is they're not providing both of these things and both of these things are essential to mental well-being. The ability to choreograph your um, work around your personal life. So medical appointments, caregiving, childcare, whatever it might be, you should be able to work around those things that are important. And that's where flexibility and autonomy come in. So as I was just mentioned before I digressed, employees, employers demanding people back into the office are going, oh, well, we need to get them back. We know they're not going to be very happy if we ask them to come back all the t at full time. So let's just tell them they can work whatever days they like, as long as it's two. So all of a sudden they feel they're giving them the flexibility to work back in the office two days. You can choose which days, but it must be two. There's no autonomy. It's just a, it's just a, a, a dictate. It's just a demand with no sound reasoning whatsoever. So there has to be both autonomy and flexibility. And when work and professional life are in harmony. People have greater satisfaction with the work, they're more motivated, they are productive, and there's less instances of depression, anxiety, concern, and stress.